Zena, we're Hog Princess, and welcome to another Jujube haul. This is one item, but brand new Million Pockets backpack. I am super excited about this. I was anticipating its release, which was just like last week, and it comes in two colors. You have this, um, it's coffee, but it's something coffee. Uh, like black coffee or something like that. And then there's a tan colored one. I don't even know the name of it, but I'm not into the tan. So the tan is available on jujubee.com and the black one you had to go supposedly exclusive to Bye Bye Baby. So I made my first Bye Bye Baby order and here it is, it just arrived today. Very, very cool backpack. It is a vegan leather, not a leather, but hopefully that means that it is a little more wipeable and durable. I don't really know because it is brand new, but it is, just like everyone has said, it is buttery soft. I really, really like the texture and feel of it. So I really, truly hope it wears well over time. Um, and whether that be in storage or actual use, you know, we'll see. But I have a lot of bags, so <laughs> it's not, generally speaking, gonna get overworn in that regard. So I hope it stores well too. Um, I don't know about care of this kind of materials. I do have to do some research on that, but I do love it right now. It's it's just really soft and pliable, and so it has structure to the bag. But overall, I really I like that it has some give to it too. It's not just like super stiff. Um, I, so I like that blend of function and fit and structure. All right, let's see what the tag says before we dive into it. Uh, yeah, Jujubee, one in a million. Million Pockets Backpack, the bag that goes above and beyond. Superior organization, including 22 pockets. Not quite a million, but it sure seems like it. Dual compartment design, keeps feeding and changing supplies separate. Yeah, if that's how you're using it, but it keeps whatever you want separate for sure. Um, memory foam changing pad, that's nice, even without a baby. Uh, fits a 15 inch laptop, comfy straps, handy stroller attachments, and they come with it. You don't have to buy them separately. Um, ultra supple vegan leather, durable all metal hardware, light colored linings, Ajon treated interior to resist germs. All right. Meet the Beyond Collection and find your perfect match. Um, Jujubee, we're always listening. We take your advice and went one step beyond incredibly supple vegan leathers. Thoughtfully designed features, beautiful silhouettes, enhance the graceful style of our newest ultra premium offering. More to come, beyond comfortable, beyond organized, beyond smart, beyond collection. Okay, so there you go. All right, let's look at the bag itself. Um, here you go from the front to back. We have a nice big zipper pocket and the zipper pulls are like this vegan leather and then they have these metal tips on it, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, I am wondering, how long it will be before those start to come off. I don't know. I guess that depends on how hard you are on your zipper pulls, uh, but we'll see. But I really like them the way they are on there. And they're long enough that if it did rip through, I would just reinstall it and bolt it back on. That's just my thinking, I don't know. All right, but this pocket is a nice big pocket. It is just a straight pocket. It's a really soft interior, actually. I, I like that a lot. Um, it's a regular, like, I don't know, it feels like a, a sheet or cotton but it's smooth and soft um, it's not slicky but I like it okay and this pocket is quite large it doesn't have its own separate gusset but it has some give to it so you can see from the side that this will hold quite a little bit and it also is a hooded pocket so some of your taller items that you can get them up under there and they'll still fit up above so I'm not sure how I'm gonna use that pocket just yet the second pocket is your classic mommy pocket and it zips double zipper with those same zipper pulls all the way down and around the sides and you can get in there pretty nicely. It has two slips, but they're trimmed with that vegan leather. Both of them have a little, a little extra gusset to it. Then you have a key leash. It's not a bungee, but it is a clip on the end. So you can still clip your keys, your little notebook or whatever you want, you can clip onto that. And I like that it's off to the side. Honestly, I would prefer even a little farther over um, or, or down below the zipper maybe, you know, right, right there where my finger is because then it's not in the way of the zipper. And like I said, that's why I like that it's off to the side. It's not terribly in the way. And so I think it's, it's okay where it is. It's definitely better than having those ones right in the middle. Um, so that's my preference on that. On the front side, there are two more 
cargo pockets that are elastic and they're just that interior on both sides. And that is the mommy pocket. Nice organization and a very large gusset to it. You can see from the side that it's like two inches thick. So it's got a lot of space, plenty of room for lots of pouches and whatnot. Um, I think because of the way that the bag is structured, it won't be super duper front heavy. I think it will still stand just fine, even if you load that first, I, I'm guessing. Um, I do wish it had feet on the bottom though, because this is a big bag. We are going to be setting it down. Um, I, not ideally, but there are times, especially if you're using it as a travel bag, you're gonna wanna set that down perhaps. And so I think it would be really nice if it had feet. That's just my constructive um, feedback for the future perhaps. Um, on the top, there is a dedicated phone pocket. So this is very lug-like in that regard. You have your slip pocket that is a magnetic closure. The magnet on this one, interestingly, is pretty low. It's like down here where the metal tab is, is where the magnet is. And that's okay, I just, I find it kind of curious that it's not just a little bit higher up. But it works for where it is, and it's not soft lined, but it is a generous size pocket. So let's see, here's my iPhone 6S Plus, and it definitely fits in there. It's, it's like double wide space. You can see where my phone is, where my finger is against it, and there's this whole other half of the pocket that's available. So you maybe could put your sunglasses and your phone in there, perhaps and it's tall enough, but because that magnet is so low, it doesn't actually magnet close very well because my phone is right at the base of the magnet. So it does close though. If I push the phone to the side, the magnet can close fully. If I leave the phone like in the middle, it doesn't actually magnetize. And that's okay in any case, I think, because it will stay in there pretty well. Okay, so that's the front. The side pockets, two very nice cargo pockets and this is not a stretchy material, but it does feel like it has just a little bit of stretch to it, which is very interesting to me, this whole vegan leather thing, whatever that is. Um, but it has this little tab on it and it has these slide locks. So if you want to, when you're not using them, you can tuck them in a little bit and just cinch them down. Um, I personally wouldn't because then I have this thing sticking out. What is that? Um, but if you have like a skinnier bottle, perhaps, uh, your water bottle or Maybe you wanna put your keys in the side pocket so they're easily accessible, but you wanna just keep them in a little bit more securely. You can cinch down the top, which closes down pretty nicely, actually. And you still have all this big pocket at the bottom. So I think that's a great place for your quick items, like maybe your hand sanitizers or things that you want quickly. I would even, this is totally how I think, I would even clip my hand sanitizer thing on this loop and then toss it in. And I'll even do that real quick because I happen to have the bag I'm using right now sitting right on the table. So here's my little Vera Bradley itty bitty backpack in Moonlight Garden. And I can just clip it on that loop so it's not gonna go anywhere, but then I could put it inside the pocket. So it's the best of both worlds. It's outside and accessible, but it's not gonna catch on things. And anyways, this is what I think, there you go. So you have the same on both sides, just like that. Now let's talk about the straps on top. They are a rolled, they are pretty comfortable though. So they're rolled and padded inside. There's definitely some structure to them, but I think they feel pretty comfortable. And they do come with this little um, snap on there, but here's the thing. Um, I don't know if you prefer them, but it clips them together. But mine that just arrived today brand new from the store, when I was taking the wrapping off of it, I wasn't even pulling hard on it, but it popped right off. So it, it's normally sewn, let me see which side of it this side is normally sewn around one strap and then the snap you just put around the other strap and hook them together and it can move around the, the strap. Well, because it came unsewed, not a big deal. I'm not gonna send it back or anything. I almost even kind of like it better this way because then it's easier. So I just, it can still strap the two together. You just snap it around the two, ta-da, just like that. And so you have that strap right there that will hold them together if you want. You can also use the strap to put them, like I've seen this from another um, Jujube person from Rhea, I think it was, who came up with this little handle hack, I think they called it, where they just lay the straps on top of each other and then you strap them together like that so that they're kind of laying down. So if you don't want your handle sticking straight up, 
because they don't really lay down flat when you're not using them. They don't lay, you know, they just kind of hang. So you can strap them down if that's your preference. So there you go. Some different ways you could use that or not. And in this case, I could just take it off because, uh, yeah, that's the way it is. All right, but on the back, it comes with these stroller straps, which are dual snaps, so you can snap it and you can hook it onto something. It does not have to be a stroller, by the way. You can use it on a walker, a mobility scooter. You can put it on your bicycle, you know, hang it on the handlebars up front if, if you have high enough wheel clearance. You can um, hang it on the back of your seat, like hang it from the post of your headrest and have it hanging, like for me, I'm a driver, so I put it on the passenger seat and hang it to the back. And now I have reachable access to my bag or hang it on the front so that you know your purse is right there and it's not gonna slide all over when you hit the brakes or <laughs> drive like a maniac, whatever. Or you can simply just take them off. And, and they both are totally removable. They have the quick release clip and they are that same soft vegan leather. So you could use this as a key ring, a keychain. you know, put on your keys and now you have a wristlet strap. You can put it on um, one of your B sets or a B quick or some other bag and use it as a handle for one of your pouches um, or whatever. You can do a lot with them if you're not wanting to use them as stroller straps. The straps for the backpack themselves are nice they have some padding and they're meshed on the back side. Um, they have a ribbing on the edge, or I'm not sure that's the right word, but so it's the vegan leather mesh and then they have this side enclosure piece. The fittings are gold on this bag and it has this little strap containment strap and little pull loops. So you could hang things on the loops as well, I guess. But let's see, these are, by the way, normal adjusting things. They're not those double loop ones that I dislike and you have to put that extra fitting. These ones are fine and they will hold position, I think, very nicely. But let's just put it all the way out for now, for a moment. And let's put the bag on just to see. Oh yeah. So I don't need it all the way out, obviously, and I would actually tighten it up some. But, but there you go. It fits very nicely. I can totally see why you would strap those top handles down because that's goofy with straps hanging all over. But but there you go. So even on a big girl, I think it is a nice bag. Big bag for a big girl. No, anyways. Okay, so there you go. The loops I was talking about on the straps are just this sewn loop and it's like a seatbelt material, just a nylon type bag. Okay, that's the outside. There are two main compartments for the inside. And let's see, is there any other pockets? Yes, two main compartments. And then you also have this side compartment right here. It zips all the way down the side and it is nicely lined. The back is not padded and the front does have a little bit of padding. So, you know, maybe you could put your laptop there or your iPad or your changing mat or anything you want. You could put your planner there, some other things. Um, let's see real quick. This. I have my planner on the table. Go figure because this is my workspace. Okay. so. There's my Erin Condren 15 month hourly. And obviously height wise it fits. Let's see. Oh, I said obviously, but the strap is kind of in the way. All right. So the bag is empty. It does fit back there. And it does zip up nicely. So that might be a good place to hold something of that nature. Um, folders I think might fit, but it's not super tall. So there you go. All right. Then let's look at the back compartment first. It zips all the way down just below the top of the pocket, which gives you pretty good accessibility inside. Oh, we have some packing in there. <laughs> no, it's not empty. All right, so we have the changing mat that comes with it. It is black on one side. It is not vegan leather, in case you're wondering, because I was wondering what it would come with. It's more like, um, like a black jujube material. It seems a little bit more robust than the normal, um, but the interior side is the same as the interior of the bag. It's sort of that soft, cottony blend or whatever that is. Yeah, but it is padded. It's a memory foam pad to it. So for me, things that I would use it for is like a stadium seat, just keep it folded and then protect my butt from the hard bleachers and things. 
You could use it as a picnic mat, same way, either to sit on it or put your little meal on it on the ground. You could use it for crafting or um, placemats, you for the kids, whatever, lots of great things. Or you can use it to make other custom items for your jujube and other bags. That's up to you. Or you can sell it or give it away or whatever. Um, in here we have a zip pocket and it goes, goes down to about right here. So it's a good, good amount, about yay big. And then you have a big slip in front of it. And this pocket is got like a fine mesh on the front, but it's actually got the lining behind it. And it has a little bit of, I would say half the thickness of this in a little bit of like memory foam pad between it. So you could also put your tablet there as well. And this pocket has a nifty bit of pink on it. So like the, the black leather or vegan leather here, but then the edges of it has this pink. I think that might be a nod to the pink ladies for the GGB gals, what they call themselves. Otherwise, it's just a taste of femininity on the inside of a black and gray bag. Either way, I think it's a nice touch. Um, but there you go. So on the opposite side, you have two mesh pockets that are elastic and they are in fact the mesh, but it's double layer of the fine mesh. I think that's a good material there. Wait, is it double? I take that back. It is a single layer, but it's just a nice elastic -y. The mesh itself has some elasticity as well as the top of it. All right, so that's the back pocket. Space-wise on the bottom, you can see there where the line is. So this is that back pocket. It's a narrower, I think, of the two pockets. So that's about two fingers thick, but it has a little extra on the top side there. So this all is the back pocket. So if you pack thick stuff in that side back, you're gonna maybe have a little bit less capacity in this pocket, potentially, um, depending on how you pack the two. I don't know yet, we'll see. But from experience with other bags, that's kind of what I think. All right, so the front main compartment, and this is your main of the main compartments. And on here you have, I don't think I could fold this back really, but let's try. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can kind of fold the top over and now it gives you a little more interior visibility. But because the zipper stops at the top of the pocket there, it doesn't really open up really, really well. I think it opens up sufficiently, but it would be kind of nice to have just a little bit more space down. So if they moved, made it just a little thicker this way, the pocket and the zipper could be deconflicted perhaps. And then you could bring that zipper down and have a gusset. I don't know, but I like it. I think it's okay. I just like a little bit more accessibility to, to it because there's a lot of interior organization. So you have two cargo pockets here that are the, the, like the cotton interior material and elastic. You have your zipper pocket on top, same as the back, and it's about the same size. This one has a tag as well that says Jujube and it has that pink edge also. The opposite side, you have two mesh elastic pockets. And then you have bottle pockets on the side, both sides, and they're the, the cottony lining material. So that's cool. And then this pocket is your main pouch. So it's a full, I would say five finger widths wide. This is your main pouch right here. But how, how you access it inside, I guess it is more accessible than I kind of gave it credit for. But yeah, standing up for sure, that is the main compartment. It will hold a lot of stuff. And that, is the Million Pockets backpack. Hope you like it. Um, if you have one, I'd love to hear your suggestions on care and wear of it. And other than that, we'll do another packing video and what's in my bag sometime in the future. Take care. Bye for now.